Hello Leo and a very warm welcome to you for your September forecast. It's a significant month because we've got the equinox on the 22nd of September. It's the beginning of fall or the beginning of spring depending where in the world you live. So we've got a lot of mutable energy in the planets. Mutable energies are Gemini, Sag, Pisces, Virgo. And a lot is happening in Pisces and Virgo this month. And the mutable energies are all about change, about flowing. And Leo, you are a fixed sign, so it's not always so easy for you to make changes. But the energies now with these mutable planets are making it easier for you this month to make rapid changes in any area of your life. We've got Mercury still retrograde, it goes direct on the 6th. So for the first few days of the month, this is not the best time for signing contracts, for negotiating important deals. And leave yourself a little extra time if you've got to get to an important appointment. So the 6th of the month is an important date because not only do we have Mercury going direct in your sign, but we've also got a full moon happening for you in this 8th house. So a full moon on the 6th and also on the 6th, Mars coming into the 2nd house. So there's a big focus for you this month, Leo, on the 2nd and 8th houses. The 2nd and 8th houses have everything to do with your finances and also have to do with your talents, your skills, your abilities. So this is your own earned money and also money that other people give to you, lend you and your partner's income. So with the full moon on the 6th, this could bring something to a head Maybe a partnership, a business partnership. Something you've been working on could come to fruition. Maybe you've been looking for some funding, somebody to support you, to give you a grant, a scholarship. This full moon could well bring that to you, into your lap. It's also going to be an important time for you to really look at anything to do with the assets that you have, especially in terms of stocks and shares, if you have anything like that a mortgage, credit card debt, tax, anything like that, insurance. This is an important time to reevaluate all that and see if there are any changes that might need to be made at this time. And here we've got this great aspect of Sun and Mars together in your second house, giving you an opportunity to really go for new ways of making money, to really put your energy behind yourself, if you like, and look at your self-esteem about your confidence. This Mars can really give you a lot more confidence this month. And not only that, what with Venus in your sign until the uh, 20th of the month, this makes you even more charming, Leo. It's even more charming than you already are. So it's great for relationships. It's great for having a makeover, doing something nice for you. This Venus is a beautiful aspect to have in your sign. So make the most of it and make sure you pamper yourself, Leo, in some way this month, especially during the first three weeks of the month. On the 10th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this second house, which is brilliant for signing a deal, for negotiating something, a bargain of some kind, but really good for doing anything once again with thinking about new ways in which you can increase your income or do something financially beneficial. And we've got somewhat of a little uh, lull in between, doesn't often happen. We've got 10 days until the 20th where the aspects are somewhat quieter. And so this is an opportunity really just for you to um, uh, think about what you want to change, what's uncomfortable in your life, and where would you like to make some changes. 
because then on the 20th of the month we've got a new moon happening in your second house of money, new beginnings, new opportunities. And also on the 20th, Venus going into this second house. So wow, talk about a spotlight for you, Leo, on your finances, but also on feeling good about you, your self-esteem. What can you do differently, new, to really spring into who you are? Or fall into who you are. Yeah, really this is wonderful for absolutely a fresh start with anything connected with your finances, but also a fresh start for you to dig out some of your talents, your skills, something that you enjoyed doing maybe as a child. Time to get it out now because the aspects are really encouraging you. And on the 23rd of the month we've got the Sun joining Jupiter in this third house, really encouraging you to expand your network, to make connections, connect with some new people, to maybe visit people within your area, but just, just to, to make connections in whatever way you can, business or personal. The sun is really giving you an opportunity to uh, really uh, and you might do it through uh, signing up for a course of learning. Jupiter would be great for learning, studying, teaching, sharing information of any kind. So it's an exciting month. And if you're going with that flow, Leos, you're going to be able to create some miracles. Thanks for listening. And if you're interested, many of you ask me about learning more about astrology. I've got a five video astrology set that you can buy from my website, yourastrologysigns.com. And it will also help you with the videos that I put out with learning more about your own chart, but also with getting more depth from the various videos that I release on YouTube. Thanks for subscribing, commenting, sharing. Bye for now.